Hello everybody, it's Nicholas here and welcome to episode 14 of our Borderlands Let's Play here on the channel. In the previous episode, we took care of some Shep Sanders missions uh, so that we could get ourselves some nice experience and monies. Um, we also ended up finding rifle parts for this rifle that we're using right now, um, which we're going to try out in today's episode. And uh, in today's episode, we're also going to hopefully go find a sniper rifle. We're trying to gain some experience so that we can be at least level 17 before we take on Sledge. Uh, maybe a little higher level. Um, so that's what we're going to do in today's episode. So hopefully you are all excited. Um, we also went into an arena and fought some Skags. Um, okay, so those are in progress. Okay. Uh, we also went into an arena and took on some Skags. Uh, we did two rounds out of the three. The third one is a required level of 18. Or recommended level, I should say. Blow him up. <laughs> I love this thing so much. Um, but we'll end up taking that on probably before we fight Sledge. Uh, just so we can get some nice experience and uh, we can be the appropriate level uh, when we take on Sledge. But either way, um, where we have to go for our sniper rifle is actually in here. Um, and I think this is where we had to go to find Sledge's safe house. So that's the plan. It's actually right outside here. Alright, so we'll leave our vehicle <laughs> right there for now. Um, and then we'll take on this. So yeah, we found all the rifle parts in the previous episode. It was pretty easy. It shows you exactly where you need to go. To the, you know, the general area where they are. Um, and then after that, you just... You gotta look for them. And it's pretty straightforward. So, um, I guess this is where we need to go to find our sniper rifle. Um, of course there's going to be skags and everything. Whoa, this is a... Re Whoa, this reloads so fast! And there's the fire. Oh my gosh, it reloads so fast, dude. I love it! I love it. Let me wait for my shield to recharge a little bit. I'm not trying to go in with no armor. Um, but yeah, it reloads so fast. I love that. I don't know why. I just feel like a lot of the reloading for other weapons, especially like the scatter guns, takes so long to reload. Like an unnecessary amount. But this feels so much better. Like, look at that. Man, I love it. Uh, but let's make our way here. There's probably still going to be... Some bandits and whatnot. Okay. I'm a little more experienced now. I am a little more experienced now. So I think I can handle it. Okay, where? Okay, kill you. That man's running away. You should never come here. Another thing I love about this game is, like, the dialogue. Like, the random things that characters say. I don't know why. It's just so funny to me. And there's something back here. No. Something over here. Nothing. Alright. Perfect. So, let's keep going. Uh, thankfully, we don't have to make our way all... Oh, wait. Let me make sure that this is clear. So I know that there are people that lurk here. Like this bruiser. Target hit. Target hit. Um, yeah. Thankfully, we don't have to go all the way out to, like, where Slager's safe house is. We don't have to go all the way out there. Wait, who is firing at me? Oh. Oh. 
I want you to know it's kind of dark. And I'm a blind boy. I can't see. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Hold on. There we go. That was all me. That was all me. Like that, like things like that that like the main character and like even like the enemies will say. I don't know why. It's just so funny to me. Alright. Nice. It's probably gonna be somebody else, no? I know there's at least gonna be people in that general area. Look at this man. Yeah. All right. All right. So who else is out here? Who wants it? Oh, we're out sniper. I, oh, man. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Who is that I hear? Where did you come from? With the swiftness, this thing is so quick. Alright. So swift, so quick. Give me all that cash, money. Alright, so I actually need to go right down here. So we are looking for sniper rifle parts now. Actually, it's probably up there. Let me go around this. Let me go around this way real quick. Let me go around. Let me go around. Let me go around. Let me go around. Let me actually wait till I get closer. I'm not trying to wa waste our ammo right here. Who else is out there? Oh. It's so hard to see. Like I said, I legitimately... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, we picked up the barrel. I legitimately can't see it. Oh, gosh. Level up. Achievement unlocked pyro. Pyro. Okay. Um, so we already picked up one of the items. Where is this general? Where does it want me to go? I got, like, thrown off of a ledge. And I, I picked up the barrel. I don't know how. I think it was sitting right here. Craziness. Okay, let me go around here. Um. So there's the rifle body. Um, so we need the sight and the stock. Okay. Um, so this is like that, this is like the general area. Uh, 
I thought maybe something would be sitting down here. Um. Wait, is this something? We got the site. The site should be somewhere around here then. I don't think it's going to be way over here. But it does not hurt to check. Yeah, cause this is like the general area. Um, the barrel gave us some trouble last time. I couldn't find the barrel the last time. Wait, is this something down here? It's just monies. Just monies. Um, where on earth is the stock? Wherever could it be? Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to miss. It is like a bright green thing. I'm trying to see. Does it actually like show me on the little mini map slider thing, like above the level thing? Does it show me where it's actually at? I'm not seeing anything. It's just it's this way. How do... Is it up here somewhere? Like, what the heck? Am I missing something? Um... So this is the general area. Can I get up here? Monies. Monies. Oh, hey! There we go. I didn't even know you could get up in this... On this roof. Okay. Nice and easy. Okay. So now we should begin a new sniper rifle. Um, I kind of like... Th this? No, not that. This! No, not that. The rifle! Give me the rifle! I like this. Um, a lot. So if we end up getting anything that's similar to that, maybe stronger, I'm down for it. 100%. 110%. I'm down. Um, so let's see. Wait, is there anything else? Cause where is that? That's, well, I guess that's the bounty board. Alright, let's just go ahead and worry about turning this one in. Um. Wait, am I going the wrong, wait. I'm going the right way, okay. On the map, it's showing me that I'm going, like, farther away from it. <laughs> I don't know why, but... Either way. Okay, so let's leave. Are there going to be enemies here? No. Doesn't appear so. There's, like, racks in the air or whatever. I don't see them. Oh, there they are. They're all the way back there. I'm not trying to mess with them right now. Really, really not trying to. Those things are jerks anyways. They tried to kill me. I wasn't even fighting them. One episode, I think it was in the previous episode. Um, or the episode before that. I was just fighting bandits. I was just trying to turn in a mission. And there's bandits there. And then the, the rack, they, there was a whole flock of them just started to attack me. Like, what the heck? Uh, we did level up, so we have a skill point. We are level 17 now. I think I want to be at least level 18. Because I think we're going to do... One or two, um, we'll probably end up doing, like, one more mission in this episode, and then in the next episode, uh, we're still gonna knock out some, um, what you might call it, some missions. Because I want to be at least level 18. I really do. Because I'm not sure if, I mean, I would assume before we take on Sledge... There will be some, uh, some, like, mini enemies in the way to kind of let us grind a little bit before we take on Sledge. But I want to be at least 18. I, I really do. I want to be at least 18. I think I want to be one level ahead of what it recommends. 
At least when we go into the missions, that is. At least when we go into them. So let's get this sniper rifle as well. These were pretty easy and fun. Don't forget to check out Mark at the store. You found them. Here you go. It's ready for action. Enjoy. So we have a GGN slash V3 solid sniper. Uh, so that's pretty nifty. Um, so where is it? So, I mean, I guess compared to... That's 110 damage. That's 65. That's 97. One accuracy. That's 95. Uh, the fire rate is slightly better on the other one. Um. Yeah, you pretty much get less everything. <laughs> um, at least we did the mission. Um, at least we did it. Can't really complain. We did it. We we had fun with it. Either way, let's go ahead and see. Um, this one doesn't seem too hard. This is Patricia Tannis calling for anyone with two brain cells to rub together. I had five of my data recordings in the aired Badlands, but now I've decided I want them back. Listen to each one, and your Echo device will record them. Once you have all five recordings, upload them to the bounty board. So that's a level 13. Uh, that's 18, 15. 17, 15, um, I think this is the, we have to go into the Lost Cave. I think we've been there before. I forgot what we had to go do, but I think we've been in there before. Um, I guess maybe, this one's level 13. I can't imagine this one being that hard. Um, well, hang on, where is this one? It's right up here, it says. Um, let me go see what this is. Maybe I'm thinking that the, the Lost Cave is something else. I don't know. Let's go see what's. Let's go see what this mission's all about, though. Let's take a gander. Um, I think I have to go through. Wait, no. Can I get? I don't think I can get up there from here. I might have to go around. Cause I think that's where we had to take on uh, Bonehead. I'm pretty sure that area is where we had to take on Bonehead. So let's go around and see what's up. So journal day one, 43, 76, 119, 172. Interesting. Very, 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 very interesting. Are there going to be bandits up here? Are there going to be bandits in here? Probably. I don't see anyone. Maybe there won't be. I mean, Bonehead... Oh, nope. Bonehead, oh, Bonehead is still there? We just killed Bonehead again. I remember that he used to give us so much trouble. Remember when he gave us like a run for our money? We had to like... Who else is over here? Like three episodes or more than that we spent like... I can blow those up. Nice. Sweet. Wait, who else is shooting at me? You? Okay. Yeah, I remember this whole thing used to give us so much trouble. Granted, we are like, what, like seven levels above what? Or we, I guess we're five levels above Bonehead, but... Day one on planet Pandora. I have been assigned to this sector by my superiors to find evidence of abandoned alien technology similar to that found by our competitor, the Atlas Company, in the ruins on Prometheus. Technology that many believe made them the superpower they are now. This kind of find seems astronomically improbable on a rock like this, but my benefactors believe in it enough to waste my considerable talents. 
I've only been here for three hours, and I already believe this planet will be the death of me. Scientists do not chase myths and legends. So this is her recordings on the planet of Pandora. Okay. So now the okay. So these are like spread all 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 over the place. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go get the other ones. Uh, we did gain a skill point. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and um. Increases bullet damage. Um, I'm going to save it for now. Let's hold on to that for now. Wait, what? Where did you come from? Whoa, they're just like spawning. <laughs> what? <laughs> they're just like spawning behind me. What is that? What is that? What on earth? Alright, so let's go here. Hopefully the other three aren't like too far off. This'll help. Day 43 on Pandora. At least I believe it to be the 43rd day I've been here. The moonlight cycles are difficult to get used to. The planet rotation day is over 90 hours long. The people that inhabit this salted dust ball are as ignorant as I've seen in this galaxy. When I attach scientific inquiry to something like the vault, I'm greeted with silly nursery rhymes and slack-jawed soliloquy about a man who knew a man who knew a man. They drift off into a stupor where I half imagine they're drunk or brain damaged and are unaware of my continued presence. If I believed in hell, I would contemplate how it compared to Pandora. Ironically, such a belief would align me with these Neanderthals. So a whole day is 90 hours? Well, this one's all the way over here. What on earth? Man, that's a long day. Hey, you can get a lot of work done in 90 hours, though. Hey, I would take a 90 hour day. You know how much work, how much stuff you can get done? Um. You know how much work you can get done in, in 90 hours? Okay, so wait, where am I going? I'm going like the wrong way. I'm going the absolute wrong way. So I, I didn't catch, I don't know if she said it. What is she here for? Is she just like on the planet like, like I am to find a vault or? Was she trying to accomplish something or what? Um, is there a way? Wh where am I going right now? Where am I off to? Oh my god, Skaggs, leave me alone. Like, it's super annoying that... Okay. It just, like, attacked me for no reason. <laughs> um, either way, let me... I think I have to go around this way. Maybe if I can... Let me go to this capture ride. Um... My nays! Okay. Wait, I want all this. Hey, anytime there's a chance to get money, why wouldn't you take it? Why wouldn't you take it? Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and um, I'm I'm purposefully missing all this stuff up here. I'm just gonna run past it. I know I just said it, there's a chance to get money. Why not? But we're kind of on a crunch here. We're trying to get all these uh, journals. Um, and can I spawn? Oh, it doesn't make a sound, like, I don't hear a sound effect when the vehicle spawns, so sometimes I'm not sure if it, like, does it. Because I don't hear anything, so it's like, did it do it? 
So now we have to go all the way back through here. I'm hoping the bandits are, are asleep. Nope. They're alive and well. This is... Uh, I hate having to do this every single time. Boom goes dynamite. Truth me unlocked. Master Exploder. I am a Master Exploder. At least I get, like, experience and pretty cool achievements for all of this. There are some pretty cool uh, achievements you get. I don't know where this guy is. Where is this thing? Was he hiding in here? What a jerk. Where is this thing? Is it like all the way over here? Have we already been inside of this? How do you get up here though? Um, I might have to be able I might be able to do No, how do you get oh my gosh, this is this can be frustrating. Why would you put it up here? That's so hard to get. Okay, let me try... Let me try this one. There we go. That one's a lot easier. There's something up here, too. There's weapons and ammo. Alright, don't fall off. This is the 76th day. I was woken up, hoping I was having a reoccurring nightmare. We spent more than 36 hours earlier today relocating our campsite closer to our dig site, only to be ambushed by local wildlife that's hungry coming out of hibernation. Half of my staff was eaten alive, or killed by skags. I survived by hiding under a colleague of mine who was being devoured on top of me. His name was Carl. My emotions are deadened, and I grieve for none of them. Point of fact, the only emotion I felt was that of joy. I felt joy because his chair was always more comfortable than mine. I took his chair, and then I noticed the emissive glow on the rocks at the dig site. Okay, so that was day 76. Day 119 is all the way over here. I love how these are just all spread out all over the place. In such an the most inconvenient way possible. How did they get like all over it? Well, I guess she said that she um I think she purposely did that. Day 119. I sat in the shower in tears for just under an hour. This is interesting considering we haven't had water for days. Hmm. I equate my ever decreasing sanity with that of the population of my dig site. With the investigation of the symbols and glowing patterns of the site, we finally unearthed arguably certifiable proof of the existence of alien life having been here on Pandora. But this celebration was lonely, as I only have two colleagues left. And I'm not too fond of the fat girl, Shimei. The fat girl, the Shimei? Discovery requires sacrifice, but I never understood what they meant until now. Alright, so the other one, it looks like it's all the way... Is it really going to be up here? Well, it's on the other side of where we are. Okay. So, I don't know if this is going to be clear. 
Nope. Why would it be clear? So let's kill everybody in here. I don't even see them. It's like annoying when they're hiding. Cause then I can't I can't see them. Another soldier. Okay, so we got some healing. Um, so this is actually gonna be on this side. Let me heal up real quick before anything happens. So I have healing. Of course I don't. Why would I? Why would I have healing? Alright, let's just get this and then dip real quick. So I'm not trying to die right here. I know there are bandits here before. I'm hoping that they're... Oh, God. <sighs> I don't have any health for this. And all these things are going to attack me now. That That's so annoying. Actually, there might, I think. I was going to say, there might not have been that many bandits. It might have just been those racks. The fat girl, Shimei, was crushed under an alien ruin that collapsed. Today. Oh. She didn't die right away and begged me to put her out of her misery as she choked on various fluids and bile. I hesitated because she was the last one alive that wasn't me. As she was choking and coughing and dying, I tried to enjoy the interaction, which huh? I imagined to be a conversation, as I knew it was the last I would have for a while. I finally got around to smothering her so that I could continue my research. I could tell that she regretted the decision. The Skags have been waiting for this meal for a while. They will not go hungry tonight. The Skags have been waiting for this meal for a while. Jeez. Alright, let's go ahead and turn this in. I think this is to the bulletin board. Let's go ahead and turn this in. That was pretty eventful. <laughs> to say the least. I love how they're just all conveniently scattered around. With no sense of rhyme or reason. No direction. Um, but let's go ahead and turn it in and get this over with. Alright. And I believe that was a bulletin board one, right? I'm almost certain it was. I'm hoping all those bandits... I, I like how they usually... Well, actually, them now come in here. But usually they don't, they don't come into Firestone. Thank you for returning my journal recordings. I know that you listen to them, so now I, now I ask that you apply blunt force trauma to your head until you forget what you heard. Those journals are private and personal. 
And with that said, I think right here is where we're going to wrap up today's episode of Borderlands. Of course, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like as that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And the next episode, we'll work on some of these uh, other side missions before we take on Sledge. Other than that, take care, have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.